What is also not normal, and which we should not overlook, is that just yesterday, with a wink and a nod, the leader of the opposition threatened to tear up the Charter of Rights. So it is no surprise that now all jacked up on this very extreme rhetoric, the House of Commons turns into something quite unprecedented, where the opposition are asked repeatedly to withdraw their extremist language, refuse to do so, and when they're not permitted to continue with their extremist language, withdraw from the House. Do you expect things to return to call after you just kicked out the political opposition leader, who's way more popular than you guys in opinion polls right now? Way more popular than you guys in opinion polls right now. <laughs> 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 I want to recap that the leader of the opposition has used extreme language, Wacko Prime Minister. Has, this, has used sayings and slogans that we have never seen before in Canada. Mr. Speaker, I replace Wacko with extremist. We have never experienced before in Canada this level of extreme right-wing rhetoric. I'll replace it with radical. And I would just say to all of you and to all Canadians that it is not normal what we are seeing. And we have to avoid making this seem banal or some sort of normal part of political back and forth. This is not what that is. This is violent rhetoric. Wacko Prime Minister. I replace wacko with extremist. I'll replace it with radical. This is extreme rhetoric. Wacko. And this is rhetoric that must absolutely no longer be in our politics. Wacko, wacko, wacko.